how it plans out as we jump into the second game of this best of five series. This is the Simpsons going up against Vendetta for the NACT. Now we did see the Simpsons with the finish on the late game for match one. It was very much neck and neck, but it came down to positioning at the end of 5v4 over there on the Luminous Lord was the difference in the game winner. So going into game two, Ah, this is a very interesting draft. Like we said, we see the Valentina, we see the Faramis combo, and the world wants to know, is is this, uh, you know, overrated, you know? Or, or is this the right way to go when it's available, especially stacked up against Theo over there with the Atlas, with the Fatal Link? So I think it's going to be a battle of positioning, and I just am super excited to see how this plays out. Everybody in the chat from uh, all social media pages, definitely vote which team you see taking game two. Let us know how you feel about the draft. Would you have allowed the the Ramis and the Valentina to walk and put an Atlas on it? Or do you think that's not a possible answer? Which team do you think will take match two going into the Simpsons versus Vendetta? I do think it's going to be a good game. Right now, both teams taking their time with it, right? Nothing too major happening. We're only at a minute in, but I feel like Vendetta needs to maybe do something, maybe try to be a bit more aggressive in these early stages. Thing is, is with the Kagura, you can't really be too crazy. You want to clear this wave. She can only make big plays when she hits level four as well. Damien, it's going to be a bit longer. Tilly hits this level four and Theo as well. Now I'm waiting for Fallen though on this Julian to really make something happen. And this game, this time, the Simpsons be focusing down on this EXP lane, kind of like Vanadetta did last game. Now you see uh, Nate actually going down to the XP lane uh, right before the turtle, knowing not to allow the cut from Galaxy on the Esmeralda and a possible clash over on the bottom side. Oh, oh, Shiki does come in with the Umbrella. Falling Star Moon does come down. Galaxy going to get knocked up, though. Enhanced Chains does not connect. Galaxy able to get away with that one, but does burn the sprint for that. That is one utility down for this Lord fight about to happen. Theo, Shiki, Pogi, and Galaxy are here. Pogi getting a little bit of poke, but a big fatal. Lynx on his several members. Colt Alter does come out, and Nate takes the turtle. This could be bad for the side of Benedetta. Galaxy, Theo both go down. That is huge for the side of the Simpsons here. Two kills and a turtle, putting them at a gold lead, at a thousand gold lead at only two and a half minutes. And we know just the small differences uh, are huge for teams of this caliber. Now, I have to say, for Vendetta, they have to focus in on that Clint. He, you know, we spoke about it a little bit earlier. He, he requires a hero who has a little bit of pill to protect him. And if I was Vendetta, I would be looking in terms of ganking him, stopping the early marksman advantage. For a second, I thought Nate was going to go in there and actually try to take that. Now, Simpsons doing a good job need to continue with this i think as long as they can keep up this pressure they can try to hold a lead here there is some late game possibilities for the side of venedetta theo maybe looking for something here i think venedetta though still we saw them last game they were at a 5k gold deficit they were able to almost take that game away from the simpsons so we definitely can't count them out now, we did see over in game one, uh, the Simpsons able to take the match, leaving Vendetta in a deficit. They really need to put in some pressure and win game two. And right now, you do see the class of Fatal Links. Fatal Links, Cold World goes down. So a nice pick onto the gold lane there. Yuna now trying to find something on Damien Pogi. Torn apart memories goes off. Can't quite get the finish. Damien gets away with his life, but they do find Cold World on this Clint. A little bit of an answer over on the top side, and this is what we talked about, focusing on that Clint, especially when he doesn't have the pill, but the enhanced change from Fallen. Yeah, Fallen, maybe in a bad spot. Theo actually finds it, gets a stun. Shiki picks up the kill and then gets that Fatal Links. No, that comes from Nate on the Valentina, able to steal it. Theo goes down. Nate here to be aggressive and help out. Galaxy now also joining the fray of things, but Damien and Nate are keeping the team alive. Just when Benedetta finds an answer, Nate is there to find one back, putting that at him at two, zero, and one, Weezy. And this is kind of what we've seen, a more of a back and forth kind of match. Both teams pretty much neck and neck to the 20 minute mark in game one. Turtle has spawned in. Uh, the question is, 
who will take it we did see a crazy fatal links from theo but also at what cost was taken out in the first turtle did go to the favor of the simpsons so the question is going in to the second one how do they answer the fatal links does connect Big Fatal Links with the Fallen Star Moon to connect as well, but Nate fires one back for herself. Yin Yang Overturn comes in and puts the Simpsons in a disarray, but they are still alive. Galaxy does go down. That's two down for the side of Benedetta. Every time Benedetta finds that Fatal Links, they instantly responds back and this is the problem with the valentina especially when you have such a game-changing skill you just wait for them to do it and then you do the same thing right back to them fallen now gonna take this turtle uncontested and that was the question we were all asking allowing the valentina to walk along with the Faramis, and then on top of that letting the simpsons take both of them you know, was that the right answer, especially on the Valentina, able to uh, take Theo's ultimate on the Fatal Links? Now there is going to be a giveaway showing up on screen, guys, so make sure you get your free Magic Dust and tickets. Use the code that you see on the screen. I'm not going to say it all out because that's a lot of letters, but just go to the link in the description. The first 50 users to use it are going to get that sent to their account. Make sure you guys collect that magic dust. There is no better price than free. Now, going back into the game, you do see the Simpsons versus Vendetta, five to three in terms of gold, in the advantage of the Simpsons, in terms of turtles, in the advantage of the Simpsons. Having the Valentina to take the Fatal Links and then waiting for uh, Theo to go in and use the Fatal Links and then go back around and turn it against him and then comboed with the Faramis on the Cold Altar when times do get hard. Looking at the items, you do see more of a CDR build from the Valentina right now. The Magic Shoes also going in for the Enchanted Talisman and then the Clock of Destiny for some insurance, but a clash over over in the mid side, Theo forced to use the yeah, flicker. Nate doesn't want to let it go. Able to take out Theo there. That is a good play for the side of the Simpsons. One more thing about those items, right? Clint, even with the death, has a huge gold lead. Or not a huge, but has a slight gold lead on Yuna right now. So Cold World, once again, doing a good job in that gold lane farming, keeping it up. Damien looking for something here. Shiki just trying to defend the tower, but Cold World rotates down. They take the tower in the mid lane, and they're now cracking open the side of Benedetta, allowing them space to get into this jungle and be even more aggressive. A huge objective for the Simpsons, taking the first tower in the mid lane, the most important tower for the early game. But speaking of lanes, the bottom side, 2v1. Galaxy just annihilated there, Weezy. Definitely a rough for him. Benedetta putting more and more on their back foot here. Did you see a possible another 2v1 to answer over on the gold lane? Yeah, Nate may be able to pick up something here. Gets the terrified on a Theo. Theo just can't get away. Cold World picks up the kill. A nice take from the Simpsons once again. We're looking at 8-3 Fallen. Gonna try to take another turtle here uncontested. Benedetta getting backed more and more into this corner. This is looking a lot like the beginning or the mid of last game, except this time it looks a bit harder for me to see Benedetta getting out of this. Pokey trying to find something on a Nate here, getting some nice burst damage. Nate gonna be able to get away. Fallen Star Moon comes down. Damien tries to use the Shadow Stampede. Can't quite get the pull, but that is okay for the side of the Simpsons right now. Now we got to look at both sides. What did we win? What did we lose for the early game for the first 10 minutes? Looking at the Simpsons, looking very solid, has not lost a single tower. In terms of Vendetta, they have lost all of their first towers for every lane. Looking at the gold, leaning in the favor for the Simpsons, about a 6 thousand gold lead taking a look at the items for them as well you know you're looking at cold world uh building that berserker's fury uh, also that uh endless battle and looks like he might be going for a uh, blade of despair stacked against you know brody the blade of heptis is the only item he has fully built for damage and then a possible blade of despair but in the mid lane the fatal links oh yuna tries to get the torn apart memories off fallen does go down the cult altar comes out but it's not enough for the side of simpsons wait a second the Fatal Lynx does respond from Nate, but the rest of his team just isn't there. Federin and Clint are trying to rotate to the mid before they lose this tower. Benedetta picking up the pieces from this loss so far, shortening that gold lead just a smidge. But if they can make more plays like that, they could come back in this game. 
Now, I do like the composure, you know, the rotations of the Simpsons, the prioritization of the lanes right now, not really have lost anything detrimental to their team, but has major advantages taking those first towers. And we have to see a safer game going into or past the 10 minute mark for Vendetta. It's not over yet. Like we've seen a whole flip around, a couple of flip arounds in game one from both sides to turn the tide. So this is really going to be dependent on uh, Vendetta's positioning, playing more of the safer game, not allowing the possible snowball uh, to go in. But you do see the conceal with the Fatal Links. Uh, kill play does come down. Fatal Links does land on a Cold World. Cold World goes down for that. A nice play from Theo there, and this is going to give Benedetta a little bit of an advantage while trying to lurk, work onto this Lord. Damien also very low health. Does he choose to go back to base as he come back in? Fallen has now picked up that crystal. Nate gets that fatal links theo goes down bogey trying to find something but damien brings out the cold altar just in time damien a little too low bogey picks up the kill slays him and now galaxy goes down next it's a bloodbath fools and they are going torn apart memories goes off to make fallen fall and now promise wants to find more yuna on the run though trying to get away nate does not over engage and promise knows this is dangerous bogey wants something finds it and gets the shutdown along with the killing spree that is a three for two trade to the side of Benedetta. Lord still on the map. I'm loving these clashes right now. I'm loving how these players are focusing the right heroes, taking out those junglers. Even if you lose the battle, the jungle is down. But the fatal links connecting oh by Atlas. Oh my god. And he responds. You have like a millisecond to do that, right? Theo uses the fatal links, but they instantly uses it to counteract his. That is a hard play to do. The I mean Nate pulls it off though. A beautiful play at that, Weezy. Yeah, just very hard to deal with. And now we do see the heavy pressure of the Simpsons going for this objective, trying to take this Lord play. This is not enhanced Lord. This is just regular Lord. Not too big of an objective, but definitely worth it if you can take it. But the clash. Uh, he gets shot down. Cold World able to pick that up. Lord now down to about 30%. Poggy look for something. Fallen Starmoon does come in. But we do see the Cult Altar to help everything out. Fallen takes out Poggy. Lord getting loaded, but no Retri on the side of Retri on the side of Benedetta. And Lord goes down. Yuna steals it. A nice play for the side of Benedetta, but what will be the cost? Three members have fallen. Galaxy and Yuna trying to regroup, trying to get back to base with four members up on the Simpsons. They know they have some time before this Lord hits the field, and they're going to move on to this tier two in the mid. Get something. Nate onto the side of Yuna. Yuna gets slain. Promise picks it up. Galaxy in the midst of things uses a falling star moon to try to slow them down, but the tower still falls. Simpsons knowing that Lord is coming soon. They have to back up, but at least they got something out of that, and they should be able to make quick work of this Lord. Vendetta, a heavy clash, able to take that Lord. But like you said, at what cost? Uh, three of your members did fall for that trade. Not an enhanced Lord, not too heavy of an objective. Looking at this Lord play right now, you see the zonage uh, from both sides. Galaxy with the pill, the four stack of the Simpsons trying to take this Lord. You see Cold World able to get the kill over on Shiki and Galaxy still providing pill without much of his team around him. Galaxy able to take out the Marksman. A huge play in this clash and Fallen responding, taking out Pogi. Lord almost down to a thread. Yuna able to use the torn apart memories and also able to take the Lord play. Had that play from Cole World there, dodging out Shiki, using the flicker. But wait a second, Theo misses a Fatal Links. That's bad for Venedetta. I think they need to back off at this point. That's their biggest utility right now, and they can't take this fight. But now the Simpsons want to take it. They know they have a slight advantage here. The Conceal comes down, searching for something. They can't connect, though, but they have regained some map presence. Benedetta looking a little bit behind. They've only taken two towers, whereas the Simpsons have taken four. Gold lead, not too big right now. Pogi comes in, gets an insta-kill onto Damien there, completely deletes him, but he'll be back up in just a matter of seconds because of that passive. Now, to the advantage of the Simpsons, they still have Valentina. They still have a possible set potential, but looks like Vendetta capitalizing uh, on the map awareness and taking out that mid tower. We did see Divine Glaive looking at the items uh, picked up by Nate, a solid uh, pickup, especially to go in with that magic damage, that magic pin, uh, as we are going into the 13 minute mark. We're looking at Esmeralda, a pretty standard build, building a little bit of that dominance eyes for the anti heal, the Oracle for additional heal as well. But just looking at the marksman's blade of despair you see malefic roar you see blade of hefty seas picked up by brody comboed against uh the clint with the endless battle the berserker's fury the berserker's fury with the malefic roar and blade of despair they are stacked with damage the damage is there for both of the marksmen's the question is who will be the deciding factor in these fights i mean both teams 
have three heroes that are just like full damage build, right? One thing I have to give though to the side of the Simpsons is even though they kind of gave up a little bit of sustainability by building so much damage, they I think they still match out Venedetta when it comes to sustainability just because of the cult altar, just because of the sustainability of Fallen on this Julian, that spell vamp, you guess. So I think that if it comes out to a long, drawn out fight, the Simpsons have the upper hand. Benedetta needs to try to close things out. Pogi able to take out Damien. Nate goes down as well. Galaxy now with the Fallen Star Moon on to Promise. Here comes Fallen, does not have the enhanced chain, so can't quite get the play he needs, but this gives Benedetta the advantage to take this Lord uncontested, Wheezy. Now you see Nate has fallen, Damien has fallen, Valentina and Faramis are out, and Lord, Luminous Lord, goes to Vendetta. We saw the heavy push all the way up until the 15 minute mark from the Simpsons, but a possible turnaround with the pressure of Vendetta. The clash on the bottom side. Yeah, Promise goes down. That is big for the side of Vendetta right there. Gonna be able to continue to push forward, losing Promise right now. Losing that front liner could be bad for the Simpsons with Lord coming, right? It's not gonna be easy. Galaxy now, Macron up in the top lane. Gonna take another tower. So now I feel like the playing field is even. If anything, Vendetta has now taken the gold lead, taken the advantage of this game. Now we've seen a lot of these plays, a lot of these towers being pushed in right now from Vendetta. But the question is, when there are no towers in play, how is this going to work? Theo rushing in with the Fatal Links, trying to get a possible set, but they have the Faramis with the Cold Altar to respond. They have Nate, who also takes the Fatal Links from Theo. And will that be uh, a problem for Vendetta as they are going to try and go for a push? Luminous Lord pushing on the bottom side. The lanes are being synced in, not able to cut and take the top lane, and they decide to push with the remaining two will they be able to take this fight and get the finish at the 16 minute mark oh, does get the crack shadow stampede comes in galaxy pulled in but they're gonna move on to that middle inhibitor they do crack it so they take something here and now they're gonna back off i like the patience i like the safe play of just getting what you came for in that bottom inhibitor it's only gonna take a shot or two to take it out so vendetta now having a big advantage in this Game. Having the tower advantage, they completely turn the tides. I don't want to count the Simpsons out though either. Both teams have a lot of set potential. Damien taking a bit too much damage there. Uses the Cult Altar. Promise trying to come in. Theo is there, gets pulled back. Bogey waiting for a moment, but a nice fatal links. Nate goes down along with two other members of the team. Damien, Cold World off the map. Benedetta gonna try to find something here. Make that a four man. Fallen just trying to escape with his life, but the minions are coming and I don't think he can do this alone. Damien will be up in five seconds. Can Vendetta finish this here and now? Base getting brought down low. Trying to do something. The pop up does come in. Yuna though focused in and the base goes down. Vendetta takes game two. Whoo, what a turnaround. Ladies and gentlemen, we said place your votes. Did you think Vendetta would take game two? And in fact, they have.